It's hard to believe, but the 1980s ended more than 30 years ago, and the world has changed a lot since that time. Things that were once considered normal are now old-fashioned or taboo. In this video, we will have a look back at some of the 1980s things that kids no longer do. Kids today may still have art class, but the projects they do are a bit different. There used to be an emphasis on crafting items that served a purpose, and nothing did that more than a good old-fashioned ashtray. It wasn't meant for the students, but rather their parents or grandparents that smoked. Gifting them an ashtray was the perfect way to show how much you love them. Long before we had inkjet and laser printers, we had an incredibly noisy dot matrix printer. These bad boys used a special kind of paper that we don't see anymore. It had holes that were punched on the sides which allowed the printer to grasp the paper and then guide it through. Once your printing job was finished, you had to tear each sheet of paper apart along the perforated ends. Not only that, but the sides with the holes had to be removed as well. It definitely wasn't a quick process, but at the time we sure thought it was. Saturday mornings were a special time for a kid in the 80s. They got up early just to sit in front of the television with a big old bowl of sugary cereal and then catch up on some cartoons until about lunchtime, unless your mom kicked you out of the house first. This was a routine that could be seen in practically every household that had children. Cereal in the 80s was pretty awesome, and there were a lot of different kinds available. Kids' cereals were packed with sugar, and parents really didn't care. They just wanted kids to sit down and shut up, but that was pretty well impossible with the huge sugar rush. Cereal boxes were a lot of fun, with all the artwork, puzzles, stories, and games on them. They also had some pretty incredible prizes inside, and if you had a sibling, then it could be a real challenge to get to them first. Wireless phones are certainly the norm today, but there was a time when phones were connected to a base with a cord. These cords were coiled, stretchy, and the perfect fidget item while you were on the phone. Did you ever wrap the cord around your finger? Or perhaps you even wrapped yourself up like a mummy. Phone cords may have been fun, but having someone listening into your conversation wasn't. Most households had one phone line, but at least two phones in the house connected to it. If you were very careful about it, you could totally pick up the other phone and hear some juicy conversations. These are just some of the things that we did before the age of cell phones. Playgrounds today have gotten soft. Even the ground surrounding them is often cushioned. The playground equipment itself is made of plastic and it has a little give to it. But the playgrounds of the 80s? They were made of metal. This solid steel got hot in the summer and could deliver third-degree burns. They had sharp edges that could slice, and they could definitely break some bones if you fell on them. The equipment was hard, and so was the ground. Each and every playground had its own element of danger. Today, computers are a necessary item in every household. Many kids start using one in some form or fashion long before they enter kindergarten. The fact is, computers have become a required item for most schools. But in the 80s, you were lucky if there was even one computer in the house. This wasn't something that people were on all the time, and people had little idea how to use the DOS-based operating system. As time progressed, so did the computer, and we were able to learn a little bit more slowly than what kids do today. Safety standards in the 80s were a little different, and especially so when you compare it to the earlier part of the decade. By the mid-80s, mandatory seatbelt wearing laws were just beginning to get passed. Prior to that time, kids rode in the bed of pickup trucks and crammed into the far back part of station wagons. Bouncing and sliding around was just part of the fun. It was like your very own mosh pit, and there really was a science to try and keep from getting hurt. Once those seatbelt laws were put into place, many adults found themselves in an interesting predicament. What if they had more kids than seatbelts? No problem. Just buckle two or three kids in one spot with one seatbelt. They'll make it alright. 
Kids in the 80s loved playing outside, which worked out great because parents didn't even want them in the house. When Saturday morning cartoons were over, kids were expected to get lost. Go outside, go anywhere, just don't stay in here. That's pretty much what every parent said. Kids played outside with no parental supervision, and that was perfectly fine. They were free to wander miles from home, and parents had no idea where they were. But there was one rule. Be home before the street lights came on. School playgrounds weren't the only thing that was unforgiving. Some of the activities that kids did in PE class were also pretty rough. Remember playing dodgeball? Everyone had to participate because it was part of your grade. Dodgeballs have a distinctive smell, and who could ever forget the sound as it bounced off of someone? Today, many schools no longer allow this game to be played, and wall ball is another one that could be pretty tough. Apple watches were nowhere to be seen in the 80s. Kids were just happy to have a simple digital watch from Casio or Timex. Of course, if it was a calculator watch, then you were super cool. It was sort of a rebellious thing to have, because a lot of teachers said that we would never have a calculator everywhere we went. Boy, were they ever wrong. Look at us today with cell phones. Remember the GoBots watch? It had the appearance of a normal digital watch, but it could transform into a robot. Those were pretty popular until the Swatch watches came on the market. They came in every color and design imaginable, and to be super cool, you needed one with a faceplate or rubber bands on them. Chalk in school was the norm, and every classroom had their very own chalkboard, which was messy, but fun. No matter what class it was, there was always that one kid who wanted to run his fingernails across the chalkboard and make everyone cringe. For some reason or another, they are no longer in schools. Some say it was because of computers, while others say it was due to health issues like asthma. But one thing that every kid enjoyed was going outside to bang the erasers and knock the chalk out. It was a great way to get out of class, and most kids can no longer do that. Waterbeds started coming on strong in the 70s, and by the 80s they were in many households. If you didn't have one, then you probably knew someone who did. It was sort of a bizarre feeling to be floating on water while you slept, but at the same time, it was really relaxing. Today, almost no one has them, so many kids have no idea what they're missing out on. Peanut butter in the 80s was huge. We had peanut butter candy, cookies, crackers, and of course we brought peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to school. Now many schools will no longer allow peanut butter items to be brought to school thanks to allergies. Most kids in the 80s had never heard of this type of allergy, but if you had it, then it must have been a scary time period to live through. Bicycles in the 80s were everything to a kid. BMX bikes were the most popular, and kids were always riding them or jumping some pretty gnarly ramps. They gave kids a sense of freedom that they couldn't get anywhere else. There were countless adventures just waiting to happen on the seat of a bicycle. They were also a great indicator to see where all the kids in the neighborhood were. The yard with the bikes was where everyone was. In the 80s, kids were busy enjoying life. They went out roller skating, bowling, to the mall, and so much more. Since 80s kids did not have cell phones, the payphone was something that they all had to master. If kids did not have a quarter, they would then call Home Collect to let their parents know when they were ready. If you're lucky, you may still see a payphone here and there, but does it work? Probably not, and it's unlikely that any kid today has ever used one. Valentine's Day for a kid in the 80s at school was completely different. If kids are even allowed to participate in handing out cards, then they usually have to bring enough for the whole class. Back then, you could choose who you wanted to give one to, and it was more of a social contest to see who received the most. For those kids growing up today, this may all seem like a foreign universe, but it really was a beautiful time. 80s kids had more freedom to experience the world around them firsthand. The 1980s really was the last decade where people weren't buried in computer screens. Do you have any special memories of the 80s? 
let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.